The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Barack Obama, when he was running for president in 2008, didn't have a draft registration card, so he had one manufactured. That's the only thing. That's the only explanation because it's it's a forgery. Okay. And um, this was done in 2008. Okay, there was a guy from Texas that started uh, digging into this in February of 2008. Uh, the document didn't show up until oh, September, October, or something like that. DebbieSchlussel.com has that all documented if you want to look at it. Um, and this document appeared. So somebody during the Bush administration within the Selective Service System manufactured this document on behalf of Barack Obama. What I want to know is why are there no patriots out there that will say, yeah, I know who did it, or I did it, I know who did it and why, and um, let's get this out in the open. Why is no one doing anything? That drives me crazy. Uh, as well as me, and uh, I hope that uh, some of uh, uh, Sheriff Arpaio's investigation is going to uh, get into that. I, I know he announced recently, and he's told me personally, that they're very close to getting the person who actually forged and fabricated the uh, fraudulent birth certificate that appeared on the White House um, website. Well, you know, that was real easy to determine that it was a fake and a fraud. I mean, it, you know, but and, and this was a non-issue to me until Sheriff Arpaio started that investigation. It really was a non-issue because it was going nowhere. There was no uh, substantiated evidence. No one ever conducted a, a, an, uh, a formal and independent investigation. And then here's Sheriff Arpaio, the first sheriff in American history, to literally conduct a criminal investigation on the President of the United States. And so uh, now we know that, but, uh, but I mean, why isn't the person uh, who uh, helped fabricate all of these things and people who know about it not coming forward uh, sooner? And uh, I can't believe that, uh, you know, I know the person who has done this, they're all fearing for their lives, obviously, but it's time to come forward. The, the more light you shed on this, the less likely you are uh, to be uh, killed or hurt or uh, put away. So, man, I wish that they would uh, just uh, man up and come out with it. Uh, whoever they hired, uh, whoever they had uh, volunteered to do the birth certificate, um, it was a – I would say it has to be a young person – who is uh, very savvy with uh, current uh, computer uh, uh, digitalization and computer uh, techniques uh, and uh, an IT specialist of today. It's not sure. somebody who really realized that uh, back in 63 when Obama was born that it would have been a font used on a typewriter, not on a computer. Right. And so they blew that, obviously. That was the first thing they really made a huge mistake on. And right. so they, and didn't Afri copy, they didn't copy the font off of other uh, birth certificates in Hawaii at the time. And not only that, they didn't even get it in the right numericals uh, chronological order. Right. But uh, there's a lot of things there. And you can, you know, it's a nine layers, as, as the Detective Zulo can explain, that I'm sure that he's explained it on this program before. So we don't need to belabor that. I mean, it's obvious. It's all a fraud. Uh, Obama is a fraud. Obama, has, uh, If Obama wanted to do nothing about this, he would have been a lot better off. He should have never succumbed to the pressure to submit this fraudulent document because he didn't commit a crime. Uh, well, he committed a crime becoming president and lying, but he didn't commit uh, fraud until he issued that fraudulent document. And then now, and it was, and it's something that people can have in their hand, and it's now evidence against him. And that's why they're saying nothing about it, because they know darn well that uh, Sheriff Arpaio has the goods on him. Jeff from Dallas, uh, I've got just a, just a minute or so. you got a question for the sheriff. Uh, yes, it's actually Mark from Dallas. I'm a gunslinger in the uh, chat room. Uh, oh, I just okay. wanted to say to uh, Sheriff uh, Mack there, sir, you are a definite patriot to this country, and I take my hat off to you, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, 
Yeah, and, but I got two quick questions on Obama. I like to call him Obama. Doesn't it state somewhere in the Constitution or something pr- prior to it that his parents must be natural born citizens? His mother was, okay, but his father was born in Kenya. That's well documented. Okay, right. just like Senator Ted Cruz, he's from Canada. He could not be eligible to be president of the United States. That is correct. Uh, I've tried to say that to a lot of people, and and uh, Ted Cruz cannot run for president of the United States. Yeah, because of his parents. And I like being, Ted. I like Ted. You know, and yeah, and he, I've met him yeah. several times. He's a kind of a friend of mine, but uh, he can't run for president. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.